NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Welcome to the weather deck everyone where it is chilly and where it's still light outside. Once again, the days are getting longer. We're getting closer to spring, uh, but spring still seems like it's a far away away uh, when you take a look at the current temperatures that we are seeing right now across northeast Wisconsin after highs in the mid to upper teens. We are now looking at lower to mid teens across most of the area currently in Green Bay. We've got clear skies. The temperature is 14 degrees with west to southwest winds right around 5 to 10 miles per hour. In Appleton, we're also looking at clear skies. The temperature is 12 and the winds are just a little bit stronger. So we do have a wind chill factor that is mainly in the single digits above zero. Now, it wasn't sunny all day. This morning we had an area of clouds, some light snow and flurries make its way across central and eastern Wisconsin. Accumulations were generally on the light side and mainly south of the Fox Cities. Some spots picking up a dusting to around a half an inch. But now we have dry weather across the entire state as high pressure builds in from Minnesota. And that area of high pressure will be our main weather maker as we head through tonight and through most of tomorrow. With high pressure building in, we can expect the cold weather to continue. It was cold all over the place today. Temperatures running 10 to 15 to 25 degrees below normal for this time of year. And you can see where tomorrow's weather is coming from <laughs> out across Minnesota where it was cold today. So tomorrow is going to be another cold day, probably about a degree or two warmer than what we saw today, but still well below normal for this time of year. After sub-zero low temperatures tonight, we're going to see those highs get back up into the mid and upper teens as we move into tomorrow afternoon. Quiet weather with lots of sunshine. Meanwhile, however, we have winter weather advisories and winter storm watches that have been issued for southern Wisconsin for tomorrow night into Friday morning. And you can see where this storm is going to track. It's going to develop here downwind of the Rockies across parts of Montana and Wyoming. It'll then slide south and east. You can see it here on Skycast. Snow developing across Montana by early tomorrow morning. That snow will then spread across South Dakota, eventually into Minnesota and Iowa by late tomorrow evening. And then we're going to watch that snow move across Wisconsin as we head through tomorrow night and early Friday morning. It's going to be light snow and it's going to be mainly from about Green Bay South. So that's where the accumulating snow will be. As I mentioned, mainly light snow, so we're not expecting significant accumulations out of this. North of Green Bay, a dusting to maybe a half an inch or so. Around Green Bay, a half an inch to an inch. And then once you get south of Green Bay, the totals will go up. It looks like about an inch and a half to two inches by the time we get to Friday morning from, let's say, Montello to Princeton to Fond du Lac over towards Sheboygan. The heaviest snow will stay well to our south across far southern Wisconsin and northern Illinois. Tonight, we can expect clear skies and frigid conditions. Overnight lows will be dropping below zero. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and nice. High temperatures will be in the upper teens, so we'll call it pleasantly cold. <laughs> Tomorrow night into Friday morning, chance for some light snow across the area, then decreasing clouds, and then we'll see a lot of sunshine as we head through Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures will be in the upper teens to around 20 degrees. There was another system headed our way. It looks like it's now going to pass well to our south on Saturday, and then we'll see kind of a mixture of sun and clouds and warmer weather as we head through Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. All right, my three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 18 degrees. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to St. John's Shelter. And we did that today. I forecast a high of 17 and the actual high temperature was 16 degrees, which means I have now hit 40 of the last 40 three degree guarantees. And speaking of the three degree guarantee, we are joined by Alexia Wood. She is the executive director of St. John's Shelter in Green Bay. Thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah, thanks for having me. So you want to tell us a little bit about Jane, uh, St. John's Shelter and what you do for the community? Absolutely. So St. John's is a seasonal emergency shelter of last resort. So we are a shelter for adults just to make sure that nobody is left out on the streets of Green Bay in these very frigid winter temperatures. How many people do you serve on a nightly basis, like the coldest night of the year? We um, we have a building capacity of 84. That's kind of our in-house number, and yet we don't turn the next one away. We work with local churches to make sure the full need is met. Right now, we are seeing on average about 94 guests every single night at St. John's. And how many homeless people are in the Green Bay metro area? Between the, the five shelters, um, our most accurate kind of count that we've been able to get, which we look at once a month, is about 550, just over 200 of those being children, um, certainly the remaining them being adults. Now, if St. John's wasn't a Available, 
where would these people go? They they would be on our streets right here in our community. And so we often hear, you know, people are surprised to hear that homelessness exists because you don't see it the way you might see it in some other communities. And that's because of the work of St. John Shelter, New Community Shelter, and, and other homeless shelters in this town, making sure that people are not left on the sidewalks in our downtown area. And how will the three degree guarantee uh, help St. John Shelter? We we rely on, on those private donations. And so we are grateful for every single check that comes in that allows us to continue our ministry and continue to meet the need of, of everybody seeking shelter. Well, speaking of a check, Alexia, NBC 26 and the three degree guarantee are very happy to, uh, to uh, give St. John Shelter a check for $2,000. $400. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. <laughs> and we're about halfway through our partnership, so hopefully we can double this number in the next month and a half right. or so. Sounds great. Thanks again. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Alexia. Back to you, Regina. All right. Thanks, Cameron. And congratulations to St. John, the homeless shelter. And coming up, the updates to Bay.